So this question is a diagram question. I say that because of the visual input provided to us here. More specifically, this is a graph question. So anytime a graph is provided, pay close attention to the points that you're given. For instance, we have this point for Mark, which is at 1060. And we have this point for Paul, which looks to be at 6 and 60. And we also have this intersection point here, which looks to be at 1, 2, 3. And let's figure out the scale here, uh, 30. I, yes, definitely. The scale is 6 units per line on the y-axis. So uh, 330 for that one. So, um, And then we also have the y-intercepts here at... 18 and at zero. So let's look at the actual question and see if any of those points become useful. The graph above shows the position of Paul and Mark during a race. Paul and Mark each ran at a constant rate and Mark was given a head start to shorten the distance he needed to run. Okay, so this is our head start here. Okay, that's right, so Paul started at the starting line and Mark started 12 yards ahead. Paul finished the race in six seconds, so I'm gonna write that down. So Paul equals six seconds. And Mark finished the race in 10 seconds, so I'm gonna say Mark equals 10 seconds. According to the graph, Mark was given a head start of how many yards? Oh, perfect, right? So none of this actually, none of this actually mattered. The question really is, can you read a graph? And we'd already identified that mark, right, at the starting point, which is where x is 0, or time is 0, um, mark starts up here at, it looks like, uh, what did we say that was? It looks like that is going to be 18, right, because we're going up by 6. This would be 6, 12, yes, 18. So mark had... A, uh, a head start of 18 yards, so choice C is the best answer.